Well, after Rory McIlroy's amazing win in the US Open, there have been a lot of comparisons with when Tiger burst onto the scene at the Masters back in 97. So we thought it would be fun to take a look at the two swings and see how they compare. So on the left here we've got Tiger from the, uh, from the practice round at the Masters in 97, and on the right we've got Rory from the final round at Congressional. And you can see from these full speed swings uh, just how many similarities there are with the actions. You know, they're both wide, free-flowing, committed swings uh, by young guys who are just out there ripping it and having a lot of fun and being very confident in what they're doing. There's no inhibitions in either of these actions and they're both just ripping the ball at their target. So let's have a little look in, uh, in more detail and see what there is that we can, can, uh, can learn from these swings and see how they, how they compare to each other. So I'm going to draw a few lines on here. Um, these ones just so that we can see um, the, the footwork that the two guys employ. Uh, I'm just going to mark the top of their heads so we can see what their heads do during the swing. And we can see if we take a look at their setup positions here, um, there's some similarities there as well. So, first of all, both very athletic over the ball here. You can see good angles to their bodies, nice straight backs with both, the, both Tiger and Rory here. Um, the arms are nice and long and hanging, kind of nice and away from the body there. Lots of room and freedom with which to swing uh, in both of these address positions. And something quite interesting that both of them do is that they set their feet fractionally uh, close to the target and their shoulders a little bit open to the target. And that's something that's quite unusual, but um, both are natural drawers of the ball. And I think this allows them both to unwind their upper bodies with great freedom in the downswing um, and it helps them avoid that fear of the hook because they feel they can really rotate their bodies aggressively uh, through the impact zone. So quite, a, quite similar setups there, very tall, very athletic uh, address there. Now as we move into their takeaways, what we're going to find here is that they both employ very wide one-piece takeaway moves. You can see at this sort of quarterback position here, both of them got very extended triangles with the arms there. There's very little wrist or arm action in that first move. It's very much a body-oriented takeaway. And that's a feature of their swings. They're both very wide swings. Uh, and as we take them up towards the top of the backswing, again, you'll see here similar looking positions there. The left arm quite shallow across the body there. The hands not getting too high. And at the top of their respective backswings, I'll just take Tiger up to the top. You can see again, the plane of the left arm there is quite similar. It matches up almost to their shoulder plane. So quite a shallow, quite a shallow angle there in the left arm at the top, which is quite interesting. And that uh, is one reason why they're both natural drawers of the ball. And another reason is that you can see here, both of them a little bit across the line here at the top of their back swings, both clubs pointing a little bit to the right of where they're where they're aiming. Um, so that's quite interesting as well that they both both adopt that similar position at the top. Tiger swing a little bit shorter because he employs a little bit less wrist or did employ a bit less wrist action back in '97. Now, as we start down into the downswing, we're going to see some interesting uh, interesting comparisons in the footwork. At the top there, you can see both leg actions quite similar. Uh, nice flex in the right knee in both cases, and, and not a huge amount of hip turn. Now, as we start down, you can see. If you look at the, in fact, let's just pop a couple of extra lines on, or one extra line on Tiger's head here, and that'll just show us the first thing that we want to look at here, which is the way that both these guys compress into the ground as they start down. Let's just mark the top of Tiger's head into the top of the backswing here. Now what we're going to see here is they both start down. They both lose quite a considerable amount of height as they start down there. Now there's been a lot of a lot of comment about uh, Tiger dipping as he starts down in his in his downswing, but you can see, you know, number one, he's always done that, and number two, it's what all great players do, all long hitters do that because they're using their legs, using the ground to generate power in the downswing. So he's squatting into the ball there. Uh, so you can see that loss of height there is something that's definitely not a concern. Now, what I want to show you is the way their leg actions both work so similarly in a downswing. You can see from the top of the backswing here, if you look at the relative positions of their right knees um, versus these vertical starting lines, 
as they get to halfway down. Those knees have shot in towards the ball there as their legs compress into the ground. And both of these guys are similar action here. So they're really using their legs, really using the ground there to generate power. And what's very interesting is the way that both of them have this similar move at impact where their legs straighten dramatically just as they get to the point of impact. Tiger used to talk about snapping his left leg at straight at impact for extra power. And it's definitely something that Rory also seems to do as he comes into impact here. Both those, those legs are straightening in both frames. Very interesting. And you can see as they get to impact there, their right knees both withdraw back to uh, where they started at address. They're not out in front of that line once they get to impact. And I think what, what we're seeing here is both guys squatting and compressing into the ground as they start down, the legs kind of flexing, the body squatting in towards the ball, and then as they get to the moment of truth, the legs snapping straight to allow the arms to fire down the target line and ensure that they don't block the ball to the right. And as they come through, you can see here, both, both of their upper bodies unwind very aggressively into very, very full free-flowing follow-throughs there. You know, the, the, sh the shoulders and the hips are fully unwound towards the target. Uh, and back in 97, Tiger had this really full free-flowing follow-through, um, which is very similar to what t uh, Rory's uh, adopting at the moment. So I think the comparisons between the guys are, are very fair. Um, you know, both have had runaway, runaway victories in their first major. Um, both have this free-flowing, uh, aggressive swing through the ball. Um, and one final similarity that we just want to highlight with the guys um, is the way they celebrate their victories here. So I'm just going to show you uh, a very interesting similarity here at both their victory celebrations. Both the guys bring their dads into the, into the fray and as we roll this through what you're going to see just about here very very similar technique there you see both arms around the father um, very very similar technique so I think we're gonna we're gonna see that Ti uh, Rory's gonna emulate Tiger right the way through his career and I think we know that a star has been born